Hello YouTube, this is DJ Zogage Trains. Just want to do a quick video to show you the interior of my Atlas O dining cars. I've just finished them and uh, they came out really, really good. Let's get in focus here. So we've got painted interiors, we've got menus, plates, centerpieces, glasses, we've got a waiter figure, we've got we got everything. I think they came out really, really well. So what I want to say quickly is uh, I was trying to show some activity in these cars. Um, rather than just paint the interiors and put the figures in and then put the shells back on, I wanted to go an extra step with these diners. So I actually did cut out individual little plates there. I did paint little glasses there and put centerpieces on each table. And I also tried to make the tables slightly different from each other. So as you can see at these four tables everybody's got food and everybody's eating. But if we move down the line a little bit we got a table here where nobody's sitting down. We just have menus nicely placed while waiting for uh, people to come in. These people have their drinks but their entrees have not come out of the kitchen yet. And then we've got people here, they've all got their food. And then the waiter here is taking the orders from these people. You could see that the two ladies are facing the waiter and uh, tried to make it as if there's some communication happening there. So he'll take their orders and take their menus away and then food will come out. So, you know, just like a real restaurant. And there you go. And then we have a couple of more tables here. So let's do a top pan real quick. Now one thing I will say is that I did not paint the kitchen part portion of these cars and I'll show you why in just a second. Uh, just finished doing this top pan so you could see everything from uh, the top view. But I'll come over here and show you the kitchen. Here we have the uh, kitchen portion and it's very nicely done. We have sinks and tables and burners so, and uh, cabinets and all kinds of stuff. And then we have the uh, walkway where people come down. Now I left the walkway blank even though there are windows because on the real Amtrak trains from what I remember the walkways are blank. So, and in the heritage days I don't think they'd be any different. Uh, Amtrak heritage was not the nicest, most pristine way to travel by rail. So um, I decided just to leave that blank. And then here's the entryway to the actual dining car. And I left the kitchen area blank as you can see here if I move the shell of this dining car up you have two windows this uh, little window in the doorway which is partially covered by a grab iron kind of obstructing the view and we have a little window over here which has a blind over it so you can't see so for that reason I decided to leave that blank so in any case most of the attention in a dining car is here anyway where all the activity is so this is what I have decided to detail and I'm very happy with the results I think it came out really really well so I'm gonna stop the video here I will do another video shortly after I've weathered the diners and that video will be of all the cars that I have weathered so far I do have enough now to do a complete train with sleepers coaches diners and head-end cars so I will make that video shortly but in the meantime, this is DJ's Old Gage Trains. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care for now, and we'll talk next time. Bye-bye.